Welcome to GTLA's instructional video number one, how to upload a document to GTLA Document Bank by Matt Flernoy on 12-3-09. First thing you must do is get to the GTLA website. I've already inputted that and I'm going to click at the bottom with my pointer. I'm going to call the little pointer that's operated by the mouse the pointer. You're going to go to its introductory page and you'll notice here under username and password you should have already as a member of GTLA gotten a username. Now, I'm going to do now that I've logged in, you can tell I've logged in because I double click that log out and follow the pointer. It's on the left hand. Scroll down on the left hand column where it says GTLA Document Bank. I want you to click that. Load a document and I've done this many times so I'm going to go ahead and just expedite it. it says under here it says upload your deposition transcript or other documents upload one document at a time so I'm going to click that one click that and now we're getting it says upload your depositions and documents uh, for every deposition you send to trial Smith you earn a five dollar credit blah 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 it's contributed by it's got my name and my law firm and the upload document to this group you want to put GTLA now let's do the document title or expert's name. This is going to be a document title. Now I've already done, in preparation for this, I've already decided what to do. So I'm going to click on this at the bottom. <coughs> and this is the, uh, as a matter of fact, we'll minimize that again. What we're looking for is the document title. And I've already made my title in advance. This is document title, Complaint and Demand for Jury Trial, General Civil Case Filing Form, information form, 10-day letter to defendant's liability auto insurer, answer of defendant hooks and answer and cross claim of State Farm. I'm going to select that. We're going to uh, copy and then we're going to paste into the document title uh, block box is what that's called and paste. And just make sure it's done correctly. Okay, it looks like it got it all. There is a limit to how many uh, number of character spaces you can put in here because I've m complaint and demand for jury trial, general civil case, information form, 10-day letter to defendant's liability, auto insure, answer defendant. Yep, it's got everything there. That's good. Let's go back to what I've already done. Case name is the next block we need to do. I'm going to go ahead and just make sure this is office clipboard. I'm going to clear it here from that one so it doesn't get confused. So we're going to scroll down here to case name, which I've already done in an MS Word document. I'm going to select it, copy, click copy. We're going to minimize this now. And then we're going to in here and we're going to paste. And bam, we've got the case name, case number, and everything. Make sure it did it correctly. Good. Wonderful. So let's go back to the MS Word document. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and clear that. I'm moving it a little bit here. Now, this is under description notes and comments. Let's go ahead and scroll down here. I'm going to go ahead and highlight everything here. I've already prepared this in advance. It really, is. And we're going to go ahead and copy, minimize. Now in the box called description notes and comments right there description notes come I'm gonna right click paste make sure it get yeah it looks like it got it all it's got my name in there I put my name in there so if you ever do a search for my name Matthew C. Flournoy also uh, Matt Flournoy you'll get plus I put a lot of words in here so if you do a search for example wreck uh, that was my wife sneezing and uh, let's go ahead and they now that that's done I've already let's see here the date of the complaint document is 4-1608 so that, that's the next box they want. They want the date of the document where I'm going to give them April let's see what was it uh, April 16th 2008 April 16th 2008 okay jurisdictions Georgia we've got states to choose from we'll keep it that. Now the type of document this is what I have is the choices, uh, court orders, depositions, discovery forms, motions, and pleadings. That's the, the best that's available, so I'm going to click pleadings. Okay, and the next box, cause of action. Now this is not an asbestos. This Look at all the various cause of actions. I've spoken with the people, uh, Jennifer at uh, 
trial submit and they have like over a hundred customers in other words organizations such as GTLA and this, these are categories that we started out with GTLA but we've added to them for example look at tort reform ER gross negligence that's customized to Georgia many of these are, are and we have the ability to add I don't want to delete any but I'd like to add some uh, categories the best one I've already searched is going to be auto accident I don't like the word accident I prefer wreck crash collision but uh, okay auto accident so let's look we've got this box correct this box this box this box the date the type the jurisdiction that's the state the type of document and now we're going to do scroll down to what says browse now this is going to select a file from my computer now the file is, is really synonymous with documents so we're going to go here now I know where this is I've already know where this is at I put it in a but you just need to locate it as a matter of, I'll show you where I've got it it's in my <coughs> Joanne's uh, G drive under this folder this folder this folder under pleadings under the Clark case and we've got uh, complaint general civil I've given it a very detailed name I'm gonna click that another thing you need to know is this is that when I scan I scan basically five documents into one a document uh, one PDF document and I did OCR and that means optical character recognition so it is searchable and let's just make sure that we got it right here then I'm going to scroll to see where I'm in the uploaded box I'm scrolling to the right now and you'll see Jason Clark Michelle pleadings good complaint general civil All right 10 day letter two answers and OCR combine Clark Hooks for GTA document bank yep that's it so I've got everything ready to go all I have to do to hit now is hit upload this hit upload and it says processing now I have a T1 line you can see at the bottom here where it's processing ah upload your deposition it says thank you your document complaint general civil 10 day letter two answers uh, on Jason Clark, Michelle Clark, blah blah blah, has been uploaded. Don't forget, you can download this document anytime at no cost from Trial Smith. I can do this to upload another document and do the same thing.